God's peace and blessings be with you. Welcome to our devotional for Friday, April 17th. You've made it to the end of another week in, in, during the pandemic. Congratulations. So today's devotion is based on Psalm 16. Protect me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. I have no good apart from you. As for the holy ones in the land, they are the noble in whom is all my delight. Those who choose another God multiply their sorrows. Their drink offerings of blood I will not pour out, or take their names upon my lips. The Lord is my chosen portion and my cup. You hold my lot. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. I bless the Lord who gives me counsel in the night. Also my heart instructs me. I keep the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body also rests secure. For you do not give me up, Shoal. Or let your faithful ones see the pit. You show me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy. In your right hand are pleasure, pleasures forevermore. So, today's devotion, devotion passage is from Eternity Today. Baby milestone moment. My third baby just learned how to walk. It's as exciting as the first child, but different. What became most apparent to me this time around was not so much the physicality of it, but how my little one felt about herself. You could see her whole face beaming with joy. She was so proud as she made her way across the floor to greet me. I was reminded of how foundational these feelings about self are. God loves us so that we may love ourselves and love others. At times we fall short. We don't love and respect ourselves or others as God does. In the waters of baptism, God calls us to journey on a path of life, and we are given an iron clan identity as a child of God. It helps us understand who we are and who we are created to be, cherished, treasured, and created to be life in the world, reminded once again of our worth and invited to tell others of their worth when they forget. Let us pray. Naming God, you call us your children, uniquely us, loved and cherished by you, faithful one. Call us into life in you over and over again. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. I hope you have a safe, healthy, and enjoyable weekend, and I hope you join us again on Monday. And until then, stay safe and wash your hands. Amen.